guys, welcome back to Bizarro Project Deep Dish, and we are in chapter 2 of this game, and it's Call of the Cheese. Oh, so you've only moved to your region just recently. Yeah, that's why there's not much in my apartment. Is that the only reason why there's nothing there? I'm still from the calzone, though. Moving to another area completely would be kind of scary. I thought maybe the pe people here might like clowns a little bit more, too. Why are you so convinced that being a clown is a good idea? Because of my mentor, of course. Alright, oh, his name was, uh... Buy one, get one to go, the bozo? No, it was Bozo to go, the bozo. Hmm, I don't know why my guess is so off. I can't believe you haven't heard about him. He's a world-renowned clown and a skillful for real things. And? He made a fortune because he got famous. I thought so. Of course, I'm nowhere near his level yet, but he always said I could do better. In fact, he believed in me so much that he always yell at me to do better. He was always yelling and glaring. Is that so? Let's try to find you a real job on this side. I can help you set up a Betsy store online too. Really? You're the nicest person I've ever met. And you're the most pathetic person I've ever met. <laughs> you're so mean. your way around yet, I can guide you a little. Like, over there is a really good pizza place. Oh, I don't actually really like... I'm really in the mood for some right now. I can pay for the both of us. Oh. Ah, uh, sorry, what did you just say? N nothing let's go. Why do you name Prezari and I like pizza? Hmm, that was great. She must have really forgotten that my lack is- Oh yeah, lack is intolerant. Hmm, what was that? I said the pizza was really good, especially since it was free. Really? You were shedding tears the entire time, though. That would just be practicing my slap clown nap. A true clown saving character until the very end. And I get to cry all I want now that I have fruit waterproof makeup set you gave me. I'm glad to hear that, I think. Dressed as a clown, I'm still carrying some props around just in case. Maybe go check something. And a mech. Just in case what? Well, we're in the cow zone. They say this is a place of opportunity where no. They say this is the place where anything can happen. The land of opportunity. So basically, it's New York City, but curse. Yeah. What? Not curse. It's a full of good opportunities. Besides, my clown scales came in handy the other day with your bike, right? I can't argue there, I guess. Yeah, you have to think positive, Anne. Mazzaro pulls out a clown horn and honks it happily for emphasis. Well, his optimistic attitude is admirable, at least. I don't think I would survive a day as him. Excuse me? Hmm? Oh. Ah, uh, hello. Yes, you two. A friendly looking police officer comes up to me and Pizarro. I thought I heard a clown horn around here just now. Do you happen to know anything about that? Look, what? You specifically tell between normal and clown horns? Allow me to explain. The station has gotten multiple reports about a hideous, listless clown wandering in your streets lately. If you learn anything, please let us know so we can destroy it. What? Destroy it? Are you sure, officer? Aren't the police usually prone to die in horror movies? You'd be in danger. That's what you're worried about, Anne? Haha, <laughs> you're right. If you watch it, yes. Doesn't the monster just prey on your fears? He's going to have to do a lot better than anything in that movie to make me flinch. Why do they think? So don't worry about me. Why does he feel like he isn't exaggerating? That being said, if you feel unsafe at any point, please feel free to ask our officers to escort you home. Because that one is quite peaceful, so the officers have a good amount of time on our hands. Why are there so many officers then? Our chief likes seeing men in uniform walking around in the streets. Don't tell anyone I said this, but she's basically a pervert. I thought so. Huh? 
I'll be on my way, and have a nice day, miss. And Mr. Clown. Oh. Smiling with only his mouth and not his eyes, the policeman tips his hat and goes on with his patrol. Oh god, he already knew that you were a clown, but like, you're not doing anything wrong. Maybe you should hold off on dressing up for a while. Maybe that guy was scary and in another odd style. <laughs> yeah, it was in a different art style. He seemed nice enough to me. It looks like he's working hard as an officer. Doing nothing. Oh, do you like guys like that? Guys who are cool, collected, and have stable jobs? Or do you mean romantically? I like... Hmm... I say I like normal people who act and look normal. So I'm not really a fan of blue hair, despite having it myself. Normal? Are clowns normal? Not really. In that case, I won't dress up as a clown anymore, yeah. Alright. You really shouldn't until the police stop marking you. Anyway. Just so you know, red hair is perfectly normal in places outside the calzone. Yeah, I know. My friend Cilantro, okay, they do have weird names, always tells me how normal the rest of the world is. I kind of want to see what he's talking about, but I want to help my parents with the store. I have to save up more if I want to travel, too. Don't so search cilantro, I'll pay for it if I ask them. Oh yeah, money is hard to come by. But Anne, if you're curious about the outside world, you should go see it at least once. Saving money is possible, I think. Even I can do it. You... you can? Yeah, just the other day I saved up an entire dollar. I cried all over it once I realized how much I had. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, good for you? Yeah, I think my luck has been looking looking up since we met. In fact, I want to show how thankful I am. I'll... I'll even give you my dollars so you can start your travel fund. Uh, that's okay, I don't really... No, I insist. I don't want to become greedy and evil too. I think I look more evil taking a dollar from you, of all people. Let's see, they should be all be in my pocket. They? Zara begins handing me a dollar. Penny by penny. Ah, uh, pennies. Oh, here. Take these as token of my appreciation. What is this feeling? My pockets are getting lighter, but my heart feels heavier with every penny I give away. Um, you can have them back. Really? You're the nicest person ever, Anne. It just wouldn't be worth the effort to exchange them at the bank. Oh, it's getting a little late. I should head back to the store. Okay, see you later, Anne. See you. I leave Pizarro. Anne really is super nice, even though I'm a clown. I should do more to repay her, too, maybe if I'm lucky. She'll fall for me one day, too. <sighs> what am I seeing? Pizarro paces around, holding his pink cheeks. Oh my god, this guy's back. The guy in a different art style. Shurian, what are you looking at? A clown. What? You found it? I did. Well, where is it then? Mm, I'm not telling you. It's more entertaining this way. Looks like it's just a harmless clown, too. Dumb, but harmless. Well, if you say so, then. Though, hmm. I wonder who put up these wanted posters. I wonder if someone wants that clown dead. Interesting. Shurian, don't smile when you say that. Oh, pardon me. Heck, that's weird. So Bizarro somehow avoided the rest later that week. It's <laughs> not like you doing anything. Alright, Anne, I'm ready to do your makeup. You really don't have to, you know. I only said okay since you look like you were going to burst into tears if I said no. No, I wasn't. I was just practicing my sad clown act again. But anyway, I'm going to do a great job. Close your eyes. Okay. Right before I close my eyes, I catch a glimpse of Pizarro holding some foundation that's white as chalk. <laughs> they have these like, <laughs> He's getting her ready for that casket look. Uh, Pizarro, is it just me or was that foundation kind of pale? Trust me, you look good. Besides, you're pretty pale already. It should match just fine, if you say so. Let's see, it's a bit of color here and here and all done. Take a look. This better not be bad. You're gonna make her look like a clown. Come on now. 
Don't tell me. You can only do clown makeup. Huh? I thought you knew I was going to. Do you not like it? Ugh, this is horrifying, but it's my own fault for not realizing earlier. I shouldn't blame him. It's great. But you don't look so happy. I'm just practicing my sad clown act. Really? Haha. <laughs> that really is a convicting act, Dan. Thanks. Maybe I could be a clown too. Haha. <laughs> Or sorry to waste your efforts, but I'm not really used to how heavy this makeup feels. I'm going to wash it off. Oh, that's okay, but my apartment doesn't have plenty of water. What? Are you serious? You sound just like my mentor. I'm sorry. The lamp shut it off after I missed a few payments. Ugh, it's okay. Luckily, I have a water bottle in my bag. Phew. I'm sorry, Anne. I thought I could do a good job. Said that makeup was the only thing I could do half decently, so you know, I've been getting the feeling that maybe you shouldn't look up to your mentor so much. No, he was a great person. He had a temper, but he did take care of me ever since my dad kicked me out. He even fixed my hair for me, saying my natural hair was, <laughs> was an evolutionary mistake. I mean, he was still insulting me, but at least he saved me haircut money. Wait, so this isn't your real hair? It is, but I just have to fix it every day. Or also stick up straight just like my dad's hair. I'll show you, but I don't have any photos. I'm really curious. Oh well, I guess I'll see it eventually. I messed up this time, but I'll do better next time for sure. I actually made reservations for this really nice restaurant for dinner. Aren't you broke? Oh, great. There's more. Is that why, is that why you want to do the makeup? Sort of. You're expecting me to go outside with my clown? I might get arrested. There's no way they arrest such a pretty clown. You're too good looking to go to jail. That doesn't really make sense, but thanks. So, what restaurant is it? McGoofy's? No, of course not. It's a nice one. Star shows me a receipt for his reservation. Oh, wow. You're right, I know this restaurant. We have good spaghetti. <laughs> I hope it's not in this, like, garbage can that they're going to go eat at. So you already like them? What a relief. All the work to buy the reservation was worth it, then. Except our table is... is what? Nothing is a surprise. It'll be a good in its own way. I'm going to have to sit out on this one. No, I promise our table isn't a bathroom or anything. Almost was, though. Kazara. It'll be fine. It'll be just like that famous Disney movie with the dogs. Uh, if you say so. Oh my god. And so, partially out of pity, I went with Pizarro to see what he was talking about. Oh, I see. We're behind the actual restaurant. This actually looks kind of nice. I don't dislike like that. It does, doesn't it? I can only afford the back alley, but it's not so bad. Oh look, the chef is bringing us the spaghetti. Oh, it looks okay. It's perfect. It's just like the Disney movie. What, it's one thing you're gonna hold you, you, I mean. Because you're gonna eat spaghetti, and it's gonna be one single strand, and then you slowly, but surely, lean in for a kiss. Now just to roll the meatball over to you with my face. What are you doing? We have forks. Oh, you're right. I'll really good. Right? This is one of my favorite places. Ah. Oh, I'm just laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not his face. Huh? What's up? The spaghetti sauce around your mouth looks like your clown makeup. Oh, I can't believe a clown is actually making me laugh. What do you mean I can't believe? Clowns can be funny and lovable, too. Oh, look, there's a super long spaghetti noodle just like in the movie. And if you want to, you can have it. <laughs> He's being really straightforward. You're broke and almost starving, so you should have it. No! And so, dinner with Pizarro surprisingly went well. And a few days later. And you have a letter from cilantro. Oh, it's been a while. Let's see. Dear Anne, I'm sorry that I haven't been had the time to send you a letter recently. My Betsy store business has been booming, so I've been rather busy. Well, the parents' fishy business has been prospering as well. Please give your parents my best regards. As always, if they have anything particular they'd like for their upcoming birthday gifts, please let me know. And of course, that goes for you too. Name anything in the stores. I refuse to spend them less than a thousand USD on each of these. 
so prepare your wish list now. Unfortunately, I don't have any plans to visit the Cal Zone anytime soon because of my schedule, but I'd love to treat you and Mr. and Mrs. Ch Chovy out when I do. But enough of that. Let me talk about some amusing stories from my recent business trips. Snap saying, for the first, last time, I'm not buying one of your yachts again. Isn't that hilarious? Haha, <laughs> rich people. Anyway, sorry to bore you with such a long letter. I'll be looking forward to your reply as always. This really love cilantro. I'm glad he's doing well. Oh, is that a letter from cilantro? He's so sweet to go through the trouble of sending letters in this day and age. There's a tradition between us after all. I think he likes the personal feel to it. It's romantic. What? Romantic? I'll send you letters too, honey. Here, don't be silly. I'll go get right a reply from Cilantro. For once, I have something interesting to tell him. Maybe I should have mentioned that Bizarre was a clown, though. Cilantro might actually report to the police. Why is that such a big deal? Don't say carp DM. Seize the fish. And elsewhere, outside of the cousin. Hey, Cilantro. You have a letter from Anne. Oh yes, finally. Thank you, sister. Let's see. Oh yes, the letter smells like Anne. It's definitely from her. Okay. And the song that twisted Sam from the ocean. I wish I had the time to visit that wretched calzone just for her. Stop being weird, Swantro. Just read the letter. Fine. Hmm. You said she's doing well, Anne. Uh, what's this? Huh? What's up? Who the hell? It's Bizarro. Oh, okay. Cilantro looks like that. He has the... Uh, well, I have the... <laughs> oh, he's mad. Chapter 3, The Crust. Okay, now we're in Chapter 3. I wanted to end the episode here today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!